I haven't done anything live in a while, at least not on YouTube, but uh, this seemed like uh, as good a chance as any to do a live stream. Um, so what do we have here? We have a an EcoSmart LED bulb. Uh, big fancy bright one. It's probably my brightest one. I really like it, and it, I thought it was be you know I thought it'd be pretty durable, but um, unfortunately, the clamp that uh, the light bulb well, let's just say this light. You've probably seen one of these before. This one's a big old springy one. It's about a hundred years old, or like twenty, thirty. I don't know. It's pretty old. But, uh, yeah, so Old Faithful here um, has a clamp. Whoa, you really hair trigger on that spring. Has a clamp that looks like this. And I usually put a wooden block underneath it because I don't, you know, gives it a little more surface area to grip. And it has a little cork thing that attaches here so that it doesn't uh, mess up whatever I'm attaching it to. And that, that peeled off too. Fun. But uh, yeah, so what happened here is this, I guess I had it overextended and the clamp, I guess, uh, had been working itself loose over time and I got into the garage one morning, oops, and uh, this had popped off of the edge of the board, just boop, which means the whole lamp fell on the ground, hit the cement, um, somehow the lamp was fine. But the uh, bulb was just all shaky, shaky loose, and I'm really glad it didn't short out and maybe cause a fire. But uh, testament to the safety of these things, I guess. But uh, I noticed that this thing had popped off, and it was really just loose inside the connection, um, like literally inside the lamp. So I thought, huh, uh, well, let's make sure it's unplugged first and turned off. So I popped it off, made a nice little clean uh, break. But if you look at it, you'll notice, uh, like a lot of LEDs, uh, there's a little lead that sort of rests to the outside to go to this uh, outside ring. And then the insulator, and you can almost make out where this thing was probably soldered at some point. But the uh, insulator separates the, uh, the other wire, which is this uh, red one here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to attempt to solder that back in. Hopefully, <laughs> uh, maybe I'll put a little extra wire on it. I don't know. I think I could probably, eh, I can maybe do it. So I'm going to attempt to solder that in and then uh, put a little glue around the edges and pop it back on. Uh, yes, that's the noise that uh, lights make when you pop the ring back on. Um, I don't know, screw thing, whatever. So yeah. Let's see if we can do that. So I got this piping hot LED, uh, piping hot uh, soldering iron going. My super electric uh, digital booty hootie. And I should probably wear glasses because I can't see what I'm doing. So let me grab those real quick. So live, live. This is live. So things happen when, when things are live. Like this, hold on. I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. Took the liberty to grab myself a little drinky drink and a smoky smoke. So. All right, let's see if we can do this. So let me see this thing. Yeah, it's going to be tricky. Definitely tricky getting it on camera. But... Is there any length to this at all? 
Man, it's gonna be real, real tricky. If I could, if I only had four arms and four hands, that would be the best, wouldn't it? Huh. If only there was something that was specifically made for holding stuff like this in place. Ah! Hey, what do you know? The old grippies. Looks like one's missing. That's a shame. That will make life more difficult. Let's see if I can find that one. So, obviously, I've been doing lots of stuff unrelated to, you know, posting more content. But that's not true. I've... I've been working on things. I've been working on it. If you follow me on Instagram or see any of the stuff I've been dumping on Twitch, you know, it's, I've just been uh, doing the precursor to uh, putting a video on YouTube. So this is just a kind of a, a handy little tidbit you can uh, take advantage of uh, until I put some stuff back on YouTube. Where are the hemostats when I need them? I need some grippers, some grippers. All right, well, let's see if we can do it this way. Can I do it this way? Which part can I tilt? This is gonna be some tricky, tricky maneuvering. I'm gonna have to make a little rig for this. How can I do this? So, I need to get that in there and solder that nice and clean without messing it up. You know, that might work. Let's see if I can grip this thing at all. Uh-oh. Oh, oh it just pulled that sleeve right off of there. Maybe I need to put more wire on it. Seems a bit uh, unsheathed. Hmm, yeah, I guess we could do that. So, maybe what we'll do is we'll solder a little bit more wire on there first. And let's uh, cover that one up with some business. Some electrical tape, maybe some tubing. Let's see what we got here. Here we go. children. It's always important to have the right tools. Uh, <laughs> Shrink tube. Probably too small for this application, but, you know, whatever. Should be fine. Should be fine. Let me see. Maybe I should test it first. It'd probably be a smart idea. I definitely don't want to melt this. Hmm. Well, let's see. That would get pretty small. Let's see if I can shrink it inside that tube, though. satisfactory all right and we'll get a little bit of uh, shrink wrap on this end hey what's up Max Roa Barba so uh, just like the description says <laughs> broken LED gonna try to fix it because uh, 
If I can fix something, I'd rather fix something instead of break it. I mean, buy a new one. Not because I'm cheap. Maybe because I'm cheap. <laughs> mostly because mostly I don't like to throw things away and if, if there's still maybe some use to them. So, first things first, let's see if I can get this thing twisted together or make a nice little uh, twist in here and solder it together. see here something to hold this kind of like in place hmm this might work put some little rubber feet under this here See if I can get some solder over here from the trusting soldering iron. There we go. seems to be pretty much soldered to my liking anyway all right I'm gonna put a little shrink tube over it Down anymore. Come on, get in there. I just doesn't want to go through. There we go. It's probably good enough for me to heat it anyway. Don't try this at home. All right. That shrunk up. That shrunk up. And I mainly just added this wire so I'd have a little bit more uh, more room. To uh, solder this over. So now, here comes the fun part. Now I gotta figure out how to do this. Let's try this. So what I want to do is I want to solder this wire to that center piece right there. So what I'm going to do first is put a little solder on the end of it, on the end of this red wire, so like a little blob. And then once I get it there, I'll just uh, solder it together. Yeah, that sounds like a plan. <laughs> Hopefully, we'll see. Let's see. Let's see if I don't burn the house down. So first things first, let's put some solder on this guy. 
Sorry for the amount of light I've got here. Here we go. A little bit better. I'm down to one lamp, as you can see. Okay. And doing this on camera is a lot more precarious than I thought it would be. Actually, it's about as exactly as precarious and sketchy as I thought it would be, but... Uh, come on. It needs contact. There we go. We've made contact. All right, there's our little solder blob. So now we got to get it in here. And make that work. Sorry if my hands are in the way, but they're kind of needed at the moment. Ouch, ouch, ouch. That burned. Come on, you can get in there. Just attach to where I want you to attach. Did it work? I think it worked. It's a miracle! <laughs> oh, and then it broke off again. Oh, no. Not as big a miracle as I thought it would be. All right, let's try that again. I need something that grips this a little bit better. Ah, I have a trusty vise. I suppose that would work. A vise? Who knew? Who knew? Perhaps the inventor of this device foresaw that someone might need to hold something in place. Genius. All right, let me see here. We're gonna shift gears here a little bit. I had an epiphany. <laughs> of sorts. Yeah, but then how am I gonna hold the bottle in place? Well, that's okay. We'll figure it out, we'll figure it out. Trust the process. All right, so now we've shifted over here. Maybe I should move this a little bit to the camera view such as it is. So my problem is holding this thing steady. That seems pretty steady. And then actually holding the wire steady so I can get the solder in there. Let's try that one more time with the amount it has on there. And hopefully it'll generate enough heat to get in there and stay attached. Okay. I don't have enough working room. Lights too in the way, cameras too in the way. Let's see, can I just zoom in a little bit? There we go. That'll give me a little bit more room. Did I just do what I think I did? Dang it! I sure did. Ugh. Okay. So, what I did just now is I popped the little nubby out of the center. So now I gotta retrieve it. And I'm guessing, if I didn't hear it hit the floor, it's probably in here somewhere. Where is it? I know it didn't melt it. There it is. Let's see if I can grab it with some tweezers or something. Or something. 
so it's right I don't know if you can make it out right there you see it right here so I guess the trick is not to do that you know what is it magnetic let's see if it's magnetic that would be seems so much easier does not appear to be magnetic dang it uh, can I get it with these needle nose maybe uh, looks like it let me get this out of the way yay all right so let's try that again <laughs> All right, pops right in. There's the connector. Let's try this again. You know, I wonder. I wonder if it might just be easier to solder this point and then pop it in. Seems like that would make more sense, right? All right, let's try that. So once again, got to hold this in place. Although I think what I'm probably going to have to do is put this where it needs to be first. get that smoothed out. Oh, I just can't see anything on camera. Alright, so here's what I'm going to do. So I'm going to smooth out some of this solder out. Just let it melt down a little bit. Come on. Kick in your little auto sensor thingy, my bob. I'm going to hold it at an angle, I think. There we go. There we go. All right. So what I'm going to do is put this through here. Okay. Let me just pretend like we're, we're assembling it. Like so. And then I am going to close the vise. Close, 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 close. And we're going to put this little guy here. And hopefully that doesn't crush it. Oh, come on. Uh, maybe I should use this one instead. Yeah, let's try that one. Seems like that's a little bit more designed for this sort of thing. Get the big one out of the way. Well, I say big one, but this vice is like the tiniest vice I could find. Suits my needs, but I wouldn't mind having a great big giant one. Big giant vice. All right, so here's what we did. Mounted it in this little uh, miniature grabber ear thingy about. And we got the wire. We got the wire. Okay, let's see if we can pull this one off. Got some heat going. Ouch. I felt that. Ah, don't move, don't move. Hold on.
Tighten up, tighten up, tighten up. Okay. I should just change the settings to constant heat, but it's got that auto cut off, so that's really nice, and I don't like to turn it off, because I tend to be kind of an absent-minded fellow. Oh my god, this is driving me crazy. Stop moving. Let me crank up the heat. Oh my lord, this is taking forever. Come on. It's supposed to be a five minute repair. We're 27 minutes into a five minute repair. Because my soldering iron doesn't want to activate. You finicky thing. There we go. Now you're working. Now I just need you to stick. Stick. I know I should have added flux. Don't say anything. You gotta be kidding me. It just is not like me. Ah, oh, come on. You know what? It's the, just not wanting to connect. Let me get some rubbing alcohol. I'll see if I can get some of the oils off. Maybe the rubber's keeping it from sticking. If you're wondering if I just spilled a bunch of rubbing alcohol everywhere, you're wrong. I did it intentionally. I didn't spill it. 
I just like the smell and the vapory cool sensation it leaves on my fingers when it's evaporating next to the flammable objects. <laughs> I'm no safety expert, but I'm supposed to be a safety expert. But, uh, yeah, it's fine. As long as you know your countermeasures, you're good, you're good. All right, let's try this one more time. With a little gusto. Huh. I know the Samsung pad isn't waterproof, but is it alcohol proof I don't know good question I guess we'll know if it stops working all right let's get some heat some heat 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 You know, I'm wondering if it just wouldn't be easier to take all the solder off, wrap it around the thread, and then do it. There might be a better way to go. All right, let's see if that'll work. Of all the millions of ways this could go, really there aren't. Is it millions? You think millions? Nah. Let's see. I guess I could crazy glue it. It's not like China doesn't glue crazy glue or hot glue everything together. Everything in your house has got some kind of hot glue on a super hot wire that probably should have burned your house down years ago, but somehow it hasn't. All right, let's go that route. And uh, let's see if this works. Try putting something on here. All right, you know I'm not wrong. <laughs> All right, let me try something here. I'm gonna try a different approach. We're gonna put this here. Tighten that up a little bit. A little solder on this. If you're sticking around to see if this is going to work, I can't promise you anything. <laughs> I definitely cannot promise you this is going to work. It seemed like a simple fix at first, but who knows. Perhaps I just uh, looked into the mouth of the lion, so to speak. All right. There's the ball of uh, business right there. And I want this ball of business to be attached to that ball of business. So we know it sticks. Well, why isn't it sticking to this one? God, this is frustrating. So frustrating.
Did that do it? <gasps> Dang it. I thought we'd had success there for a second. It's like a, it's like a dance of cat and mouse. Or something like that. Orca and otter. Shark and lost swimmer. Hamster and wheel? Man, nothing seems to work. All right. <sighs> what to do, what to do, what to do, what to do? What will work? What do I have in my little toolbox that will make this work? Let's see. Hmm. Let me just file this thing down a little bit. There's somebody out there right now who's like done this a million times and is going, one, sir, it's not worth the effort. Two, the effort you're putting into it is completely wrong. But that's okay. Because baby, I got nothing but time. <laughs> ah. All right, Look, clean contact right there. Good to just hold in place. All right, let's try this one more time. One more time, and then I'm probably just gonna like hot glue it and see what happens. It's like it wants to stick to everything except what I want to attach it to. Yeah, looks like it's gonna go the hot glue method. Which is get it kinda close and then glue it in place with some hot glue. So let's see how that works out. <laughs> okay, and we'll see if I don't burn my house down uh, tomorrow. So my guess is I can probably just do this. You know what I'm doing. I just put it in there, I folded it across, which is probably how it went in the first place. I bet you this thing wasn't even glued into place or even soldered. It's probably just pressure fit like everything else. This one's pressure fit. See? So, yeah, I guess it stands to reason this one probably is too. Boom. Done. That's all it took. All of this for nothing. I wasted my life, all my time because of that one stupid thing that just needed to be pressure fit. Why? <laughs> All right, uh, and I guess I'll just put some glue around the rim, right? Where's the glue? I mean, I probably didn't need to do all of this. Uh, you know what, let's just take it apart. <laughs> May as well put it in the way it's supposed to be. Well, nah, I don't trust this wire either, to be honest. Man, that sucker's in there too. That is no joke right there. Pressure fit is the way to go, baby. Let me tell you.
All right, so what am I doing? I'm ripping it apart. All the work I just spent the last 20 minutes, 40 minutes. <laughs> Golly, are you serious? So all I had to do was leave that alone, take this, put it over the edge, like this, bend it over this little ledge right here, and uh, push it into place. No wonder it popped out so easy. It was, it was never soldered, it was just kind of pressure fit in here. Um, take my little button with these little teeth on it, wedge it on there. Tuck that into the rubber. That's it. And you know what? I don't even think I need to glue it. Looks like these little doodads will do that for me. So I'll just give it a little tap tap with something uh, somewhat, uh, yeah, yeah, you know, you know what I'm going to do. I'm going to hit it with a rock because I'm primitive. That didn't seem to work. Push it on there with my hands, with my brute strength. Oh, I did it. I did it. Took five seconds. A 42 minute video to do a one second fix. I'm a madman wearing madman shoes. Ugh. All right, well, I guess the uh, next thing to do is test it, right? So, let's put the clamp back up. Let me see here. I know, it's insane. You really, you really just wasted 42 minutes. So if you're watching this, I will put a notification uh, in the um, description that says, skip 40 minutes to the point where I fix it in five seconds. All right. So, moment of truth. Let's put this thing in here. All right. Here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna we got the we got it right there. There's the lamp. Oh, that's the other lamp. Here, let me bring it down to visible level. There's the lamp. Yeah. There's the lamp. Got it. All right. There's the bulb. The bulb of death. Here's the uh, plug. Gonna plug it over there somewhere in one of these dangerous outlets. Uh, yeah, that one fits. All right. Now we're gonna screw the bulb into here. It might turn on as soon as I put it in there, so you know you might want to cover your eyes. Let's see if it's was worth it. No, it didn't turn on. But does it work? Holy moly! And there you go. How to spend 40 minutes finding the one minute fix. You're welcome. Now you can do the same without wasting your time with a soldering iron and about a million other dumb things when all you gotta do is fold it in. Fold it in, baby. That sounded weird. Anyway, uh, thanks for watching my painful uh, light fixture fix. Sure. We'll see you guys later. And yes, I'm working on something. Crap, man. I mean, give me a break. Can't you see I'm working here? I got some other stuff going on over here, too. But, you know. It's getting hot in here. I gotta admit, I gotta go like and subscribe. Uh, see you later. I turn this thing off. There you go.